Did you have sex on your wedding night? Why don't you answer this one? <laughs> Tough guy. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. We are not quite over the wedding buzz yet, so we decided we're gonna do a wedding Q&A. We asked you guys on our Instagram to send us some questions. We haven't looked at them for some odd reason. Maybe we should have to be prepared for proper answers, but alas. Would you mind showing us your rings with your new wedding bands? We um, should really take some photos well, why don't of we it, but. Take a picture now. That's better than doing this because <laughs> there's a football hand in there. This is mine, and that's Paige's. Ooh. <laughs> Interesting one. Mm. Did you have sex on your wedding night? Why don't you answer this one? <laughs> Tough guy. <laughs> I'll start off by saying, Would you like a microphone? <clears throat> Thank you. That evening, several drinks were had, and also, it was extremely late. Um, I did carry her across the across. I did carry her across the threshold. She did. A few bumps and bruises along the way. To whom? Um, my lovely wife. Uh, why did your wife, Holly, have some bruises? Well, there was this big post. Mm. Very hard to see. It was made of oak or something. How something how tall there. was the post? Like, was it in your eyeline at all? Um, don't remember. Uh. But it could have been floor to ceiling. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. And I may have done a little swivel around. I could have gone left or right towards the bed. Yes. And I wanted to go left. But Holly kept saying, there's not enough room. There's not enough room. There's not enough room. And I said, yes, there is. Even though and you didn't see the floor to ceiling post. I didn't see it, and it was on the left-hand side. What was that post made out of? Uh, Sorry. It could have been oak. It's, it could have been birch. It's a solid wood, then. Something like that, okay. yes. So I did carry her mm. and accidentally gave her a little um, little bump and tumble, mm. played a little hardball, a little push and shove action mm. into the post. Mm -hmm. Once that happened, I became disoriented. <laughs> To throw me into the post. Very difficult. <laughs> and after that, we laid upon the bed, confused and in a daze. <laughs> so at that point, all we had left was to get the bag of giant popcorn the size of our bodies and eat that and fall asleep. <laughs> so to answer your question, no, we did not have sex that night. <laughs> if that doesn't bring a tear to your eye, I don't know what will. I'm sorry. That so wasn't woman enough for you. <laughs> You were too much woman when you rammed me into the fucking pole. Yeah, that was not my, not my finest moment. It was perfect. But. We jumped on the bed and held hands and we did. danced on the bed too. We did everything on the bed except for sex. Basically. So. I wouldn't change a thing. Me neither. <laughs> what went wrong? The thing that went wrong for me, almost, is that Paige and I were doing our first look but getting ready in the same house. So we were pulling off so many stunts to not see each other and avoid each other from <laughs> 6 a.m. to half two when we did our first look. So that's a long time to be in the same room and not see each other. And we were doing a great job until we were almost there. We were five minutes away. We had this Parsi bus to transport us and all our bridesmaids to the venue. Which was awesome. And we had a tension rod put in between Paige and I at the ceiling of the bus. With a curtain on it. With ways, yeah. So the bus was kind of split in two. Paige and I were outside of the curtain so we could all chat to the girls without us seeing each other. And five minutes before the venue, we hit this big bump in the road and the tension rod falls down. Paige and I were so quick to turn. It was the only thing that could have really been quite disastrous. And it did yes. bump Abby right in the head. Bonked her right in the head. Right in the, right in the noggin. Little dome. <laughs> well, bam. Maybe she helped save us, actually. Probably. She supported it a little bit. For yeah. us enough to turn. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Abby. Thank you, wow. Abby, and Abby's dome. <laughs> We got a little delayed mm -hmm. speeches and stuff and meals took a little longer than I would have liked. I would have liked to have been on the dance floor a bit earlier so that everybody could yeah. really enjoy themselves because it was a Thursday especially. Didn't want people leaving because they had to go home to f work the next morning. This is something that I learned. The reason it was delayed was because Paige and I weren't eating because yes. we were too busy talking to people that they withheld serving the next course until we had finished ours. We didn't know that. Mm -mm. As guests of honor, things kind of run from you. So we went up to them after your mom came and was like, they're not serving dessert because you've got three plates in front of <laughs> We're you. Like, what? We're like, oh my God, thanks for telling us. So we run over and we go, just serve dessert. Like we'll, we'll figure it out. So it was delayed because of us. Mm -hmm. So if your wedding is coming up or anything like that, just know that it's running by your plate. So if you're eating yes. fast, you'll get on the dance floor fast. We have to do a pros and cons thing or like a to do and to avoid for weddings because I have so many little hints and tips that I would want to know if I was getting married. Totally. Maybe we'll make that video if you guys are interested. Stop the video. We cannot make them wait that long for another video when they can just Google the answer at home. 
people's attention spans are over like that now. Just put your do's and don'ts in a blog post and be done with it. But how am I gonna do it that fast? Using Squarespace, of course. Today's sponsor. <sighs> Squarespace is a website building platform where you can build blogs, portfolios, and more. Their website design system called Fluid Engine allows you to customize every design detail with drag and drop technology so it couldn't be easier or faster to build the website of your dreams. Do you need an online store to sell custom merch or book appointments? Do you want analytics from your website to better understand and grow your business? Do you desperately need to jump on a trend before Gen Z says it's no longer cool? Squarespace has you covered. If you guys are interested, you can head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, you can head to squarespace.com forward slash page and holly to get 10% off your first purchase of website or domain. Thanks Squarespace. Now back to the video. Is there anything you would have changed or done differently if you had to do it all over again? I'll let you go first. Big one for me would just be don't plan a wedding in three months. That's probably my number one. Now I'm not saying we need it years and years, but for efficiency purposes, six months would have been the perfect amount. We fought a lot building up to the wedding. Yep. And I know when we had initially booked it, we made a video going, we'll enjoy the process. <laughs> That was very idealistic. It was not the case at all. I no. wish we could tell you that we were bigger than the issues. We fought a lot. Um, we did. In the end, oh, it was okay, we but we, 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 made it. we made it. We yeah. made it, yeah. At the aisle, we're like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Don't think that it's gonna be all like sunshines and rainbows throughout the whole planning process. And also know that it's normal to argue through this stuff. Like, I don't think it's abnormal to have disagreements or just like pressures from people around you trying to make everybody happy. We added undue pressure on our relationship where if we had given ourselves more time, that pressure wouldn't have been there. Somebody says, do you regret having the wedding so young and not waiting until you're older? Well, thank you, first of all, but we are 28, which I think is like, it's kind of I think standard. that's a decent age. Don't get me wrong, I felt like a child bride all the way through. I did feel too young because your whole life you think of a married person as having their shit together. All through life, I always thought people older than me had it together. When I was 16, I thought 21 year olds had it together. When I was 21, I thought 28 year olds have it together. When I'm 28, I think 30 year olds. Like, I've just realized that everyone is faking everything. Everybody's, in fact, just an infant, I think. Yeah, everybody's living their life for the first time and no one has a f clue what's going on. Jokingly, I did feel young to take that step because I always thought I'd feel like an adult when I did. But no, I've been so sure. We've dated for seven years. I didn't feel like we were rushing into anything. No. And by lesbian standards, it was extremely slow. It's like dog age, which is every one year is seven. Yeah. So we've been together. 49 years. That's quick math, Holly. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't have bothered me to have waited longer. I think we just rushed it more so because it was our dream venue. A date popped up on a day that worked for us and in their perfect season of fall. So we're like, it, let's just do it, why not? It's the most impulsive thing we've ever done. Also the biggest decision of our lives, so. And we did it! We did it! Good job! <laughs> when will you start to try for a baby? T. T, you take the lead on this <laughs> Now, we aren't 100% set on having kids. You guys have known this, I think, from the start we've been saying that, but the longer we've been together, or the Y, X axis, baby wanting has gone up slightly as well. Yeah. We can't put a date on it because we're not 100% sure, and obviously, to bring a child into the world or into our lives, you have to be 100%, so we wouldn't act on anything until we were. We will be taking some steps in the near future, go get some tests done. To if see we what our options to. are. Mm. That's the timeline for now. Keep it a mystery. <laughs> One day we're just gonna start a video and just have a baby right here. <laughs> Having a baby in three months. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Was planning your wedding as stressful and expensive as everybody says it is? No, it's even more so. Okay. <laughs> If more, yeah, more stressful, more expensive. If we could start over, I think careers, I would probably wedding want to do wedding mega money. Yeah. Not just vendors, but like you know, any items that you want, like decor, stuff like that. Man, Candles, man, anything to do with wedding rental through the roof. And we rented yeah. a lot to save money. We rented basically everything that we could. But I will say, again, biased because we had three months to plan. Maybe if we had longer, we could have found cheaper alternatives and, That's um, true. We, oopsie, yeah. We really did do this to ourselves. Yeah, we did. <laughs> How does it feel to say wife to each other? Crazy. <laughs> Today, I cooked Paige eggs and bacon, and she turns to me and goes, this is why I'm gonna marry you. We catch each other all the time. Both of us didn't catch that. When I said it, no. you're like, yep. It feels 
feels unbelievable. Like I never really called her my fiance. I call her babe, baby, my girl, all this stuff. This but bitch. This bitch over yeah. here, yeah. yeah. We've been saying wife like crazy just to like bask in the excitement of it, but yeah. it does not feel real whatsoever. Mm -hmm. When does it happen? When does it start to feel real? I don't know. I introduced her the other day as my wife to this random so did I, yeah. person in pickleball and uh, that kind of made it seem more real to just do it to a stranger because all our friends and family are all like, oh, your wife, your wife, but to do it to random. I'm like, oh, I just got married, so I haven't played in a few months. Like, oh, congratulations. I'm like, thanks, my wife's over there. <laughs> we just, <laughs> ah, <you're out. laughs> Wait, the first time I introduced her as my wife was when she was dressed as weird Barbie for Halloween. Ah, oh, yes. That was a challenge. That must have been difficult for you. <laughs> you know, it, it was easy for me to tell people, you were just, hot Barbie, so I was like, yep, that sexy Barbie over there. And it's one of those Halloween costumes that just made me fall in love with her that much more because no one did it. Everyone tried to do like the sexy Halloween costume and then there's my girl over there, my wife, sorry. You kept telling me I was hot. You were hot. <laughs> You're hot because you own it. Confidence yeah. is everything. If you were weird Barbie and was not like, oh, like I'm so awkward, oh. I would have hated it. But she was like, yeah, let me do that split. Who has a Birkenstock around here? Like she just, lived Kate McKinnon's life for, Thank you. for that night. I just loved it. <laughs> Get you someone who loves you when you're weird, Barbie. <laughs> Any makeup or hair malfunctions? Literally none. No. Um, people that we worked with were amazing. We'll leave all the links and stuff down below so you can check them yeah, out. Yeah, if you're in the area, I could not recommend them more. Everybody was just fantastic, our whole team. I told both the girls after, I said, no one could tell me shit. Someone could come up in my face and go, you're the ugliest bitch I've ever seen in my life, you're disgusting. They could have said the worst things to me, and I would have been like, <laughs> that's not true. I was walking on air, I felt yeah. so confident, so gorgeous, so sexy, no one could tell me As anything. As you should. To know that that confidence is inside of me has really carried me through ever since. Well, that's all to our team. Cause I could, <laughs> I did not and wake yourself. up looking like that. <laughs> Girl, you're beautiful. I love you, Mrs. Howard. I love you. <laughs> 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 Never gets old. Okay. My granddad called me today. He goes, How's Mrs. Howard? I'm like, Which one? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> All right, let us know in the comments anything else you want to see. We're going to film some nasty videos next. <laughs> Sorry, that sounds so. Wow, bad. okay. Okay, never mind. Okay. Right. Wrong platform. Yeah. Uh, okay. We love you guys, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.